Heidi ho my peeps! I'm here with a, am I wearing two pairs of glasses now? With a, um, a Dollar Tree haul. When life throws you lemons, you don't waste your time making lemonade. You just head straight for Dollar Tree. That's what I did. So I'm just going to show you what my table looks like. Give you a little pre preview of some of the stuff we got. So here we go. Well, let's see if I can make this like that better. So you can see my messy bun. See my messy bun, Steph? It, I'm really coming along with the messy bun thing. All right, so in no particular order, here we go. First of all, Grant got some um, of these. They're USB cables, but they're flat. And what makes them special, darling? Oh, you they keep it in your car? Up. You can fit in, a, you know, in your wallet. Oh, it fits in your wallet. So this is a little holder, and there's a USB cable in there, and it fits in your wallet. He got three of those. He also got an air pump, probably totally useless, but, you know, we'll give it a try and see. Um, he, In addition to that, he got the two-in-one micro USB stylus, whoa, cable. stylus cable. So that's kind of interesting. Um, then the rest of the stuff is mostly food or health and body items. I got two of these Pepsodent Complete Care toothpaste. I had Grant read the back and he said that they're, they don't have too many horrible things in them. So, um, so yeah, there we go. I prefer using that Tom's of Maine. I really like that, the peppermint flavor. But I'm just not shopping at places that have that anymore. So for some reason, I'm just, I keep passing those Dollar Trees and that's where I've been doing my shopping. So there we go on that. I also got, okay, you know, we are digging the Dollar Tree pizza, making your own Dollar Tree pizzas, digging that. So I got three more of the crusts, the ultra thin crusts with three packages of pepperoni and three packages of string cheese, one can of mushroom pieces, one bottle of mushroom pieces, one bottle of pizza sauce. Now I always add eight teaspoons of sugar to this entire thing and stir it around and that gives it more of a pizza flavor. It's not quite as um, like tasting the tomato bite, if you know what I mean. So that's a tip. Doctor this up with a little bit of Honey or, I mean, sugar or even honey probably, or I imagine if you use that Splenda crap, you could do it with that as well. But anyway, the sweetness really helps. Um, Grant got some Morello cherries. Those just look good to him. Um, we got, oh, I know. You know, I, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I don't eat a lot of cold cereal. I don't buy it as a general rule. But when I'm feeling like I need to feel... I don't know, like a kid who has parents that are still taking care of them, I buy cold cereal. So I got the the Malto Meal Frosted Mini Spooners along with some of these Cashy um, Honey Oat cereals. I think there's five of them in there. And, you know, I didn't do the math to find out if it's cheaper to buy them on sale at the grocery store. I don't know. But they happen to be there. Something else that I bought that I had never seen there before, maybe I just never noticed, but they're these egg rolls. They have um, lobster, chicken, and shrimp. And my husband, we got two of each flavor. It says Imperial Garden Product of USA. And probably has all, oh, it has all sorts of interesting things in it. I'm not even going to bother to read them to you. But we got two of each, so we'll give those a try, see what they're like. Um, Grant got these baby washcloths because they are microfiber and they make, apparently make good glasses cleaners. So let's find out if they do or not. I'm going to open this up right now. Because he got them because there was a purple one. And I love purple, as you well know. So let's just take a peeky poo and see how they work on my glasses. While I'm doing that, I'm going to give you an update on Mama. She is still got her heels dug in. She doesn't want to participate at the rehab. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, but she's 
<laughs> she's feisty, which is good. In fact, today Grace went in to tell her, okay, you need to do your afternoon um, physical therapy, you know. No, Elizabeth, I am not going to push your bed for you. You can do that. You can put your head up and down yourself. You know how to do it. No, Elizabeth, I'm not going to get your water for you. You're a big girl. You can do it. After about 10 minutes of that, my mother points her finger at Grace and says, get out. So Grace calls me. She says, yeah, your mom just kicked me out of her room again. So, I guess that's a good sign. So my sister went in to visit her today and so did I. And uh, she's just not having any of this rehab crap. So who knows what will happen, but God bless her heart. She's At least she's exerting her authority to kick us out of her room, so that's a good thing. Now you um, tell the rumors from the... From the yeah, the that's right. Well, I'll tell them that in a minute. Um, so anyhow, yeah, I like that. that. This little baby microfiber cloth thing works great for glasses. I'm always using my shirt, you know, the curtains, somebody's old Kleenex, the bottom of my jeans, whatever, to clean my glasses, so this would be nice to have. Thank you, darling, for thinking of me. Um, now, I've been buying some things to do. Um, I want to do Dollar Tree videos for food, you know, meals and stuff. I, I figure it's working so great for Jan Creason. I'm grabbing onto her coattails, and I'm going to do the same thing. So, I bought some stuff that I'm going to be putting together in meals, and let me show you. I got three of these deluxe shells and cheese packages along with three of the Star Kiss Chunk Light Tuna Wild Caught and three of the French Fried Onions, so I'm going to make a little kind of lunchy, dinnery meal with those. So I thought that sounded kind of good. A little bit heavy on the carbs, but, uh, you know, it's the way it goes these days. Um, I also picked up, um, let me get this organized a little bit, um, some, oh, remember I told you I saw this yellow rice when I was there the last time? This saffron rice, it looked so good. It made me think of Spanish rice, so I got this rice and the Pace Mild Picante Sauce, so I'm going to put this together and make a Spanish rice. I thought that would be fun. Grant bought these Ziploc storage bags because he was going to use them instead of, instead of the Dollar Tree bags, and I'm like, honey, they're smaller, there's no handle, you only get three for a dollar, and the, with the Dollar Tree bags you get ten for a dollar. And he's like, oh yeah, I guess you're right, but these will be useful for other things because we've got a lot of... Ziploc, they'll seal. They'll seal, we've got a lot of packing of things to do, so those will be useful for that. Um, I also picked up a little notebook when I was at the um, counter. My son has uh, uh, counseled me to use a notebook for some stuff that we're doing together, so I'm going to keep this in my purse for our project. Um, I also got some carnation instant, uh, I mean carnation evaporated milk and two different kinds of sweetened condensed milk. This Pampa sweetened condensed and then also this ne Nestle La Lecheria or lecheria, maybe, um, sweet and condensed. I am going to be making a an, an English trifle dessert using stuff that I bought from the Dollar Tree. So that will be part of the egg custard. I also found lady fingers, which you need for an English trifle. I also found pound cake, which you also need for an English trifle. I had bought um, the um, the jelly and then some fruit already from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put together that English trifle and show that to you sometime soon. Um, I got some of these Monet crackers in the original and the vegetable. I'll be making something with that. We picked up a can of olives to go on the pizzas. I also got a can of this Hunt's Manwich, and I was thinking this might make an interesting pizza. I was thinking about doing a, a hamburger pizza, and I'd use this instead of the pizza sauce, so I'm going to give that a try. Um, okay, this is so cute. i got to show you these. I found these gift bags. You guys have probably seen these. Maybe other people have hauled them. I absolutely love them. Here's the little handbag with the chihuahuas. That's one style. I got three of those. And then I got 
one of the this little terriers handbag gift bag. This one I got one, I got two of this with these little guys. And then thinking of my sweet Leanne and anybody else who loves Yorkies and Silkies. Isn't that cute? Look, it's Soli and Maui. <laughs> I got three or four of those. I thought those were adorable. Um, let's see what else I get. Oh, yeah, and as we were walking out the... Well, no, let me show you these first. Okay. Well, no, I'm going to show you this first. As we were walking out of the a Dollar Tree, Grant's like, Oh, look, eclairs! So we got eclairs, and we ate one in the car, but they hadn't gotten mushy yet. So there were six, now there's four, and I'm going to see if they've gotten... Oh, yeah, honey, you got to come get your eclair. Your two. Oh, yeah. Those are, those are good. Those are good. They are um, tiny little things, but they taste marvelous, and they've um, thawed. Mm. Mm. Great. Yeah. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to show you are some books. Grant picked them out. He's the greatest when it comes to picking out books. Here's a book called Shorecliffe, and it's set in 1928. A novel. It looks really good. Here's one called Ophelia's Muse, and it has to do with the um, uh, painter Rossetti. No, no, not not the painter Rossetti. Rossetti was a um, an artist. No, Rossetti was a painter. Anyhow, um, so this has to do with his paintings. He was one of those pre-Raphaelite painters. My absolute favorite era of painting. Even though people make fun of it, I love it. Okay, so anyhow, here's what's funny about the books. So, I'm sitting with my mom, and she's getting antsy and acting all Sarah Bernhardt-ish, you know. Oh, I'm dying. I'm like, Mom, I, I just saw you get out of that bed, walk to the bathroom, and come back on your own. You are not dying. So, just to kind of take her mind off, and I says, well, Mom, do you want me to read to you? And she says, yeah. And she had these books on her table. And one of them was some cheap bestseller novel called The Palace something. So I start reading this thing to her a lot. Well, first, I asked her roommate. I said, Doreen, I said, is it going to bother you if I read to my mom? She says, no, go right ahead. So I sit down. I open it up and I start reading it. Okay. This novel is so trashy, and it's so badly written. It's kind of like um, Fifty Shades of Grey meets Gorky Park. I mean, it was like just lots of gratuitous sex, you know, slotted in between this KGB spy novel thing with all this florid writing, with all these big 25 cent words. I mean, it's just bad, just bad, poorly written, all right? So I'm reading this thing and I have a few paragraphs and I'm like, mom, do you really want me to read this to you? She has her eyes closed, you know, in that, oh, I'm dying right now look. And she nods her head. So I keep reading, right? Read another page or two. I'm like, mom, I said, this is really, really bad writing. Are you sure you can stand listening to this? And she nods her head. So I keep reading, and she starts going to sleep. And then I get to this point where I'm like, she, I thought she was asleep, but I'm reading, and then I, my, I lower my voice, right? And I, I kind of loud whisper through the curtain. I said, Doreen, I said, I'm so sorry you had to listen to that crap. And I'm looking down at my mother, and she's lying there in that, you know, oh, I'm dying, in one little part of her lip goes up. She smiles just a little bit. She heard everything I'd said. <laughs> she is so evil, I swear. So, I am going to make her sit through some decently written novels. So, that's that. Um, I'm all, I also have another haul I'm going to show you that um, I'm making my mom a care package um, with you know, pedicure stuff, makeup, all kinds of junk that will ma hopefully make her smile. So my next uh, Dollar Tree haul, I will show you the stuff I got for my mom's care package. So I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I sure had fun going shopping tonight and um, eating my eclairs. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!